Aba, lukitu na karaketero bustara babala nerebios, tarababala nereba. Ye kolokundre bios, tarababala nerebias, tarababa, letribius, tarababala nerebias, tarababa. Aba, likin yirikus truli nerebias, tarababa. Ye kolokumbush tarabia la miandra baba. Ye kushu kunerika tastrobo bola nerebia. Ira kalaman yurukusha la kendribius, tarababala nerebaba, itiri andra baba. Aba, Father, your name Yahweh, Holy Spirit Yeshua. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, who you are. In this moment, I'm sending out a message towards your sons and daughters all over the world. Your chosen one, elected one, their name in the book of life in heaven. Mighty God, please give it to me and pour out the Holy Spirit. Let me only the truth. Let me tell the only the truth towards your sons and daughters all over the world. Mighty God, pour out the Holy Spirit. Whosoever watching this video, your sons and daughters all over the world, let them see and let them listen what Holy Spirit speak to them. Mighty Heavenly Father, in this moment, I am sending out a message, especially wants to talk about the rapture. And what is the defined rapture? And what is exactly what do we have to prepare? What, how to prepare to be rapture? Mighty God, from the beginning to the end, covered with the precious blood of Yeshua. And Father, whosoever watching this video, let them see and listen, and then let them understand, and then let them prepare themselves to be raptured. Mighty God, thank you so much. In the name of Yeshua, I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Shalom. My name is Sonham. In this video, I would like to talk about the rapture. What is the meaning about the rapture? R-A-P-T-U-R-E And how to prepare to be rapture. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, as a Christian, as a follower of the Yeshua, if you do not know about the rapture, you are very dangerous position right now. Rapture from the beginning to the end, Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Abarat Father, prepare the rapture, generation to generations mentions from the beginning, and it is end time event. This is a very special event. This is a very, 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 very special event. So that is why you must be prepared to yourself to be rapture. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, rapture, Ali P T U Ali. The meaning of the rapture is an event in the which Yeshua, God Almighty, Yeshua, descends into the air without the warning and takes the church's brides on earth without death. The original words came from the Harpazo means to pull to pull suddenly and the Latin translation raptus became the etymology of rapture in English. So without death so first of all Yeshua is God himself. Yeshua for alphabet of the Hebrew language in it in the Yeshua. There is a meaning in the visuals, the alphabet of the Hebrew language. So Yeshua is a four alphabet in it. Creation, destruction, salvation, knowing, knowledge, experiencing is in it. So God Almighty name. There is a great power in it. Book of the John Chapter 1711, there is a great power in the name of Yeshua. So that is why so you are true Christian, you are true sons and God of you are if you are true sons and daughter of God, you should not call him Jesus anymore. He is not your neighborhood friend. You should not call him Jesus. His name is his name is not the Jesus. Over the decade, through the Roman Catholic, they deceived the people. Even they changed the name. His name is Yeshua. 
correction, destruction, salvation, knowing, knowledge, experiencing. There is a great power in the name of Yeshua. That is why Satan knows about the God Almighty name. Even demons, they know about the God Almighty name. You must call him, call him as Yeshua. You need to know about your God name. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, if you are a true follower of the Yeshua Christ, you must know about the rapture event. From the book of the Genesis to the Revelation, there are so many rapture events was mentioned. Generation to generation, prophet to prophet, talk about the rapture. But exactly, they did not use the word of the rapture, but that event is all over the in the Bible says so. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ today, if I read the whole Bible about the, what is mentioned about the rapture, it's so many and they make you so confused. So I will read a couple of the verses from the Bible. First of all, Zoel and Nuke, Mark and Revelation chapter 19. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, as a Christian, as a true follower of the Yeshua, if you do not know about the rapture, your position is in danger as a like a Christian. You must know about this event. Even if in your lifetime or even if under the tomb, you must prepare and desire to see. That is happen. Yeshua is a real God, and He died on the cross. With His entire whole, His body, all blood and water, He was pulled out for you. This is symbolic, symbolized like life and pay up your sin with His blood. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua Christ has died and then He resurrected three days later. There is a first ever resurrect, which is the time is come. Almighty Heavenly Father knows the time. The time is come without death, whosoever alive in this earth, blinkle of eyes, like a blinkle of eyes, and like flashlight. Peoples will be disappear. Chosen one, elected one, whosoever prepare themselves to be raptured will be caught up. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, as a Christian, you must know about the rapture and you must get ready yourself to be raptured. So, over the decade, Almighty Heavenly Fathers prepared and proclaimed about the rapture event is very, very special. And that is only once will be happen, only once. Right before tribulation, seven years tribulations will occur. So you must get ready yourself to be raptured. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I will read the Bible first, and Prophet Enoch, seventh generations <clears throat> from the Adam, even Prophet Enoch saw the rapture vision, and especially what you see right now in front of your eyes, Yeshua Christ is coming with a great glory, with the thousands and millions of the angels. To get the true bride of Yeshua. I'll read the Bible first, which is the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 14. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men. See, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones. Two thousand eleven, November ten. Tremendous vision I saw. Two thousand eleven, November ten. It was a short vision. I was stand in the middle of the sky, 
and whatever reason the whole universe was pitch dark and silence very quiet. Eleven o'clock bound, I saw the small tiny light, and I was very curious and wonder what is that. And the light has come towards me, and it was getting bigger and bigger, and all of all of a sudden, probably screen was change, and Yeshua Christ is with thousands and millions of the angels. With a glow, great with a great glory. It was so beautiful. It was amazing and so beautiful. It was powerful, and I saw surrounding me. There are a lot of people was surrounded me, and I knew that that was a rapture's vision. It was so powerful, and I wanted to see Yeshua Christ. Way in front of the first line, but he was surrounded with magnificent, great glory, so powerful and light. Everything pushed away. That much powerful, great glory. He is God Himself. You must get ready yourself to rapture. Two thousand four, mighty God Yahweh, Creator of the universe, visited me. I'm Korean. He spoke to me like this. 너는 저리로 가야 한다. 세상 문을 닫을 시간이 다 되었는데 내 아들 딸들이 아직 나를 모른다. 너는 저리로 가야 한다. Mighty God spoke to me. You must go there. The time is to close the door of the earth. My son and daughters do not know me yet. You must go. Since then, God Almighty walked with me. Seventeen years. And especially. Heavenly Father, our Father, so focus, focusing me about the rapture. Be prepared, the bride of Yeshua. Be prepared, bride of Yeshua. You must get ready yourself to be rapture. Rapture is a really, really special event. And your soul, spirit, mind, heart, and body, which are holy and pure and clean, as like a clean water, as like light air. So, Enoch, Prophet Enoch saw this vision. So especially, I was defined the rapture meaning. Rapture meaning is event in the which Yeshua God descends into air without the warning and takes the church's bride on earth without death. Original words came from harpazo, means to pull the suddenly, and the Latin translations leptus became the rapture in English. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, rapture event will be very special. So you must get ready yourself to be raptured spiritually. First of all, I will read the book of Bible. Joel, Joel, chapter two, twenty-eight to thirty-two. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and the billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said among the survivors. Matthew chapter thirteen, verse thirty-nine. And the enemy who saw them in the devil, the harvest is the end of the age, and the harvester. Are angels, as the weeds are pulled up and burned into the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. 
The Son of Man will send out His angels, and they will weed out of His kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the furry furnace, where there will be weeping and garnishing of teeth. And Matthew 13, 49, 50 This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous, and throw them into the furry furnace, where there will be weeping and garnishing of teeth. Matthew 24 is very important, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. Many, many times I was read this verse for you, this chapter, Matthew 24. I encourage you to read Matthew 24 from the beginnings to the end, but I will read a couple of the verses. Matthew 24, chapter 28. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the dread, after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the ma the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of a Man coming on the cloud of the sky with a power and great glory. And He will send His angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather His elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. And Matthew 24, 40, 41, 42. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. Therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. Luke chapter 17, 26 to 35. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating, drinking, marrying, and being given in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed them all. It was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and the sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. It will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, no one who is on the roof of his house with his goods inside should go down to get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. Remember Lot's wife, whoever tries to keep his life will lose it, and whosoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you, on that night, two peoples will be in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding grain together 
one will be taken and the other left. Book of Revelation chapter 19, 7, 8, 9 Let us rejoice and be glad, and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. Then the angel said, said to me, Right, blessed, are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true words of God. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua is really God. And he came into this world for save you from your sin. And the Yeshua Christ died on the cross and shed his all blood and water for you and he was resurrected three days later the time is come only creator of the universe god almighty yahweh knows about the when is the time the time is come magnificent glory magnificent power and glory and his authority will touch your entire body. It seems like what you feel it is lightning strike. You just have a little bit electronic strike. You touch the electronic and then entire body will vibrate it and magnificent the light and glory will blink of eyes matter and you will change to the eternal body and you will going up. No one else knows when, but you must get ready yourself to be rapture. So especially rapture event is very special event. Without death, we will going up. But only chosen one, elected one, whosoever prepare themselves to be raptured. As the book of the Revelation chapter 19, 7 said, Let us rejoice and be glad, and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. You must get ready yourself. Get ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. In your lifetime, as a Christian, as a righteous, you must choose right choice. Almighty Heavenly Father knows about everything about you. Peoples going to the church, they think they have a faith in Yeshua Christ. But Almighty God knows about every single individual's deepest our heart. We have a true faith or not. You have a true faith or not. Even if you're pretending in front of the peoples, you have a good faith. But God knows. You do not have a faith in Yeshua Christ. You do not have a loving heart towards Yeshua Christ. You do not truly, truly repent. He knows everything about you. It doesn't matter about the, your age. Your age is 1. Your age is 20. Your age is 30. Your age is 50. Your age is 100. It doesn't matter about your age. It doesn't matter about your gender. It doesn't matter about your nationality, your skin color, God Almighty doesn't care. God knows about your deepest heart. You must have a true faith in Yeshua. You must accept the Yeshua as your Savior and God. And you must know about the Yeshua Christ as your God and you will be with him forever you must know right now and you must truly truly repent
God knows about you truly, truly repent or not. Temporarily repent or just like long period times repent or permanently repent or forever you repent. God knows about the, your heart. You have a truly have a faith or not. He knows. Many, many Christians or other peoples do not believe in God. They are wonder, where is God? What is God? Where is God? Creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. He is in front of your eyes, behind of your eyes, next to your eyes. He is watching 24 hours. He never asleep. He never fall asleep. He never. He's, he's in front of your eyes. But your sin and doubt about something, your iniquity, blocked in between you and God Almighty. God knows about everything about you. Even if you are pretending good Christian in the church, God knows about you. You do not have a true faith. You do not have a true repentance. You do not have any loving heart towards Yeshua Christ. He knows. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I truly, truly recommend you have a faith in Yeshua. He is a real God. And you must truly, truly repent in the name of Yeshua. When you start to repent, when you meet God Almighty personally, when you truly, truly repent, you will start, you will start to cry. You will start to cry. Entire tears need to be come out from your body, completely dry out from your body. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, your sin and iniquity and jealousy and no loving heart and unforgiveness heart and all idols, whatever you love about anything, without loving heart towards God. That is all idol. There is a spiritual weight in it. I will tell you brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, because of the God show me about this, and I have to tell you, where is a soul location? As a human, As a human, we have a body and soul. And when the soul from your body, it is came out, separated with the body, separated your body with the soul and body separated. Biologically, we defined death. It is dead. So, where is a soul location? The location of the soul is next to your heart. The soul size and the weight and the value is every single individual people is the same. Like I say, if I just a parable, using the parable, $2 coin, weight, value and size is the same even if you're one years old or 20 30 50 100 years old your gender doesn't matter your age doesn't matter your nationality your skin color doesn't matter god almighty every single individual people soul is a size and then weight and the value is the equal i just like using Example of the $2 coin, everybody is the same, equal, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. But your value of the soul will be recalculated re by God Almighty depends on the quality of your soul in your lifetime. It doesn't matter how long you've been in this earth. 
20 years, 30 years, 50 years, 100 years, whatever you've done, you will judge by God and you will rebel you about your soul, about your rebel you ate about your soul. So what so people some people's like a soul is like a value like a million bucks but some people's like less than a penny such a garbage or whatever God knows about it and God will revalue about your soul depends on the, your quality of the soul where is the heaven location where is the hell location spiritual world is real existence and the spiritual world and spiritual existence which is like demons and angel is real existence brothers and sisters in short case heaven and hell is real heaven is a location is a furthermore of the universe God Almighty show me the vision and the hell location is under our feet which is underground without any physical matter you cannot make it heaven so far 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 away with the grace of god with the grace of god you can make it heaven blink of eyes brothers and sisters in yeshua christ this is very important you need to know every single individual peoples need to know about the truth Yeshua is real God. You must get ready yourself to be raptured. If you want to make it happen, your soul, spirit, mind, and heart and body mature, holy, and pure, and clean as like light air, and as like clean water. How to make yourself clean water and the pure mature holy and clean and the, like as a, like a light you must truly truly accept yeshua christ as your savior and you must truly truly repent in the name of yeshua if you do if you cannot sort out your problem about the sin and iniquity that is heaviness about your soul you cannot make it, make it going up only grace of god blink of eyes he will lift you up creator of the universe god almighty yahweh has authority make your soul going up or going down brothers and sisters he knows about everything about you i will tell you you cannot make even one percentage of the excuses in front of the God Almighty. He knows about everything about you. Yeshua is real God. Precious blood of Yeshua. Always, always you must work so hard to meet God Almighty. When you work so hard, when you have a desires to meet God Almighty, He will meet you personally. You have to work hard. You have to, first of all, you have to have desires to meet God Almighty personally. And you try to pray. And you try to praise the Lord. And you must try to the, even fasting, pray, worship. And you have to read the Bibles. You have to do all kinds of spiritual activity requires to meet God Almighty. God knows about the, you are seeking God. You are struggles to seeking God. And He knows about everything about you. When you truly, truly accept the Yeshua Christ as your Savior and truly, truly repent and, and you want to meet God Almighty personally, depends on your faith and depends on the yours repentance condition god almighty will meet you personally where is god he's in front of your eyes next to your eyes behind of your eyes he's all over the world he is in front of you right now brothers and sisters in yeshua christ 
rapture event is very very special and as a true Christians you must know about this special event in the church not so many people will tell you about the rapture what is exactly what it is no one else knows the time and date but we are not alone God will not treat us as a orphan Almighty God gave to us a hint Matthew 24 and all over the Bible prophecy is there and God Almighty show me the vision brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ you must do this truth at least you are the true Christian or not you believe in Yeshua Christ or not it doesn't matter you must know this truth you must check it out this truth time to look up the sky this is the signs and wonder. Do you know this fact? The number one, the cloud is coming down to the earth. Number two, every day you can see the super moon and super sun. Number three, you can see pink sky in the sky right now. Number four, chemtrail, C H E M T R A I L, chemtrail spraying all over the world. Number five, the moon is spinning. What does it exactly mean? As long as if you digest about it, you understand about the five signs, whatever I told you right now, you are one of the 0.0001% of the population in this earth. If you understand about these five signs, what I told you so, Number one, do you know this fact? That number one, the cloud is coming down to the earth. Number two, every day you can see the super moon, super moon and super sun. Number three, pink sky you can see. Number four, chemtrail spraying all over the world. Number five, the moon is spinning. There are great information in it and there are great secret in it about that five signs, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. If you understand it, if you truly, truly digest it, you can understand you are one of the 0.001 percentage of the population in this earth. Not so many people know about this truth. 99.9999 percentage of the peoples in this earth do not know the truth. And they don't want to know the truth. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, wherever you live, it doesn't really matter. You're living in North America, South America, Australian continent, or Asia, or Middle East, or Africa, or Ireland. It doesn't matter. Time to look up the sky. God Almighty, show me the vision for 17 years. Nibiru system is approaching. Nibiru system has itself, Nibiru is itself has a light and there's a couple of planets in it. Almighty Heavenly Father, show me 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, even nowadays, God Almighty, show me about the Nibiru system is approaching. It, there is a couple of planets in it. One is red planet, the other one is white planet. Whatever you seeing the red sky and especially pink purplish colors of the sky because of the reflection of the red planet is approaching. Daily basis is more darker colors, more positive colors, more frequently you can see that. But the time is come entire sky, you will see the positive pink colors as well as though the airs will colors seems like purple. That is what Heavenly Father showed me the vision. And if you see that phenomena, it is happening in front of your eyes. You must get ready yourself to be rapture that is right in front, right before Yeshua Christ is coming. Whatever you see the picture, 2011, November 10, I saw this tremendous vision and I really, really desires to draw all by myself. And I bought it giant the size of the canvas. And I have a, all kinds of the materials for the artistic materials to draw. And I failed. And I threw it out. And I was just so disappointed about I couldn't make it. 
and almost six months later, I found this picture. It was amazing. Almost 99% is the same what I saw the vision, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. But the really, really, whatever I saw the vision spiritually, it was so bright and so powerful and so beautiful. You must get ready yourself to be raptured. Rapture is a very, very special event, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I truly, truly encourage you be prepared yourself to be raptured. How to be prepared yourself to be raptured? Number one, first of all, you must accept the Yeshua Christ as your, your Savior and God. And immediately, Holy Spirit will come into your heart. And Holy Spirit will training you. From now on, until you get the kingdom of God in heaven. Number one, you must accept the Yeshua Christ as your Savior and God. Number two, you must truly, truly repent. Without repentance, you cannot make it. You can't please in God. No mercy on you. Without repent. Without repent. God will not be happy with you. If you've done that, I truly, truly recommend you baptize with the water, immersified with the name Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua. Be righteous. Your soul, spirit, mind, and heart and body need to be mature, holy, and pure, and clean as a, like a clean water and as a, like a light air. Only the grace of God will save you. With your true faith in Yeshua and the true repent, true repentance, God knows about you everything, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I did not really share about this vision not long ago. A couple of days ago, I saw the vision. And I've been this mission for six years in English. I will share with you my old uh, vision and dream. Whatever most important vision and dream, I send out this message towards the world. Because that was the Heavenly Father's, God Almighty's commandment. So I try to do my best for the obedience to Him. Recently, whatever I saw the vision, I was a stand up in the church in front of me. People was line up, the left side the line up, the right side was line up. All the women in the church wear the wedding dress, white wedding dress. All the men in the church wear the white tuxedo. And everybody's waiting for the water baptism with me. And something like that, that kind of vision. Everything is ready to go right now, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. Spiritual word, God Almighty, everything is ready to be raptured. Only signs of the God Almighty. Q, go get your bride and the Yeshua Christ will come. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, you must get ready yourself to rapture. I do not know when is the rapture is going to be happen, but I'm watching. 2010, August 16, God Almighty, show me the vision about the cloud positions will be the timeline of the rapture. I already tell you this vision the cloud level the cloud is coming down to the earth cloud will be ground level in that point of times no one else will tell you even media will not tell you when all of a sudden sudden destruction will become entire earth will be tumbling gigantic tsunami sinkhole landslide all kinds of the crazy activity will be occurred that is the timeline of the rapture brothers and sisters in yeshua christ that is why as much as i can i try to report about the cloud position and the sky phenomena brothers and sisters in yeshua christ rapture You must know about what is the meaning about the rapture. 
and you must get ready yourself to the rapture. A rapture is a very special event. And again, Book of Revelation, chapter 19, 7, 8, 9. As a bride, a true bride of Yeshua, you must get ready yourself to be raptured with your entire righteous act. God knows. You have a true faith or not. You truly to repent or not. God knows about everything about you. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I do my best to send out the message. Today's the message is you must know about the, what is the meaning about the rapture, Ale Ptiwali. And you must know how to get ready yourself to the rapture. Yeshua is a real God. He's coming very, very soon. You must get ready yourself to the rapture as a spiritual matter. Yeshua is coming very soon. Be ready yourself to the rapture. Shalom.